wind certainly picked up. We're now getting 18, 19 knots. Um, pushing on beautifully on our first reef. And we're scooting in around the corner and we're only about uh, 10 miles from Esperance, or Bandy Creek. So, yeah, it's been a pleasant three day sail, so really effectively across from Albany. We've had pretty good work. seem to be granite. It's uh, amazing, even the headlands here. One giant rock. And that is a big ship. They are big ships. in the uh, assumed position for the passage. you have to dodge the horses that go for a swim across the entrance as you can see if you look just through there it's just the head a rider and a horse just go for a swim so this is crossing the marina entrance that's pretty cool never had to experience that coming into a marina Yes, it is. So Chris, Chris is trying to take us into town, and on the satellite, which I don't know if you can see, it's going this way <laughs> on scooters. Don't think, don't think so. We're on bicycle track. Oh, don't think so. What bicycles going through that? All bicycles. We need to go up and then go into the peak road. We can't because we can't use the peak road, can we? Starting to get the view.
So we're a bit hot, are we? Not hot, but warm yeah. in the air, mate. Look. So the boys have found a place to go. <laughs> we're not taking our clothes off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we're keeping our clothes on. Oh. No, no! No, yours! Yeah, I mean... He's going. That, that, that showed off. That came back on quite quick. No longer pink. Due to the fact is there's less salt. Less salt, more fresh water. Well. And there's more fresh water that's entered in there. So and so it looks like humans have destroyed it, which is really sad because a pink lake would have been beautiful. Hello, Maggie. Hello. Video you. Passage planning, trying to work out the weather. Well, because we've got to get the bite right. Because, get the bite right. Yeah, we've got to get the bite right because there's nowhere to go throughout there. So we're trying to work out. We want to see a little bit around so Esperance, mm -hmm. around the bays, just well, to see because while we're here, now, but there's a weather window Friday, Friday, so we're Friday trying to, yeah, yeah so try to see if we can fit things in or go or sit and wait. So it's our last night in Esperance, we're heading off in the morning and we're going to go out and get some tired tonight. So when you're on a boat, you don't have a car, this is our mode of transport. So, they all charged up, it's time to go. A couple of minutes late, but we got there. We just gotta get to the What? Hang on, didn't you buy some last night? Yes, for tonight? <laughs> Alright, so we made it for Ty. Beautiful. Been an interesting sail. Started with 18 knots and now we're down to about six. And it's only about five mile eddy. So yeah, Bandy Creek was just back over there. And we've plotted over and beautiful eddy. So we've just dropped the sail instead of furling it up. Because I've noticed. I was up checking and the junction's about there. 
uh, it was separated, so the grub screws are loose. Hopefully they haven't fallen out. So, I'll have a climb up there later. Okay, so we're just about to grab a boy. And there's the resort. And we're gonna grab this boy just here. Just here. Some grub school screws came undone. So just going up to get some more rock tidy in them. Grub screw stripped. But it's a bit rocky. Not the greatest place to do it, but Hard work. Yeah, you don't want to drop the Allen key or the grub screws. Stop swinging! Bloody hell! No much choice in that. So we're on Woody Island and we get picked up. So he's just going out to go and grab Alley Cat. And because I've got an Uber. Pretty cool. O'Brien's Bay but there is some bullets coming over their granite so we're unsure if we should continue this way and um, yeah the, the bullets are heading up to 28 knots which is just makes it a little bit uncomfortable so we're gonna check out another spot um, if that's no good then we'll head round to Lucky Bay So our problem was our furler is separating at the second joint. So the grub screws have stripped right out, so we need to drill and tap new threads there. So we've just connected our sheet line, we've dropped it. We've disconnected the D-shackle at the bottom, at the foot. 
So we're just going to take off the halyard. But of course the joy is we're working over water. You drop anything and it's gone to the Neptune. And you, this never happens when it's two knots of wind, it happens when it's 30. Oh you idiot, I did the wrong one. Too cold, I'm not thinking. I'll put that mouse back. I'll mouse it again when I do that one. Going up? Good. Don't let go of this one. Alright, sail is off. Now we've got to tie this down and stop it flapping during the night. Alright. Alright, let's take her home. Jeez, they're bloody big. I don't know how we're going to fold that up. There we go. On video, you can wind all you want. Uh, uh, they're right there. Oh. Sorry, Mum. They were okay there, but anyway. Alright, so we made it for Ty. Beautiful. Caught on something, I hit. It'll stink. Uh, yeah. well, it's, <laughs> it's 30 knots of wind. Oh. 